Well, hey. Hello. It's that time. Woo! And if you don't know what we're talking about, it is snowball time. Ta-da! It's done. It is. It took us a very long time. It does. And it'll take a long time, too. So if any of you want to come help take it down, there you go. come help us after the snowball fight. But for now, it is snowball fight time. And we want to give you guys uh, a few heads up, maybe. Yeah, heads up. Tips and tricks. Tips, yeah. Before you, before you come. Yeah. Because it's going to be a fun night. It's going to be a crowded okay, night. Yeah, it's going to be a busy night. First of all, when you get here, all the parking downtown is paid parking. So if you're driving a car, you can park in the garage or you can park on the street, but the meters are out. I would suggest probably parking in the garage. I think yeah. it's, I don't know if it's $5 or $10. It'd but be easier. Just park right there and walk straight into here. If you have a bus, there is some free bus parking at the end of the parking garage. So you can take advantage of that if you have something that wouldn't fit in the garage. Yeah. Um, make sure your students leave bags in your bus or van or car or whatever you bring. Um, we don't allow those into our building, but they can bring their phones, their person. Um, if they don't want to lose it, leave it in the car. We exactly. have a table out front where our students will set their bags, but they have to stay out there throughout the night. Yeah, and if you're thinking, well, what about money? We want to get something to eat. Well, when you get here, you will be met outside. We have a special entrance for the youth groups, all right? You're not going to come just in any door. You're going to come in the youth group door. And when you're met outside by one of our friendly volunteers, uh, you will get, as the leader, I think they're going to get the tokens for the coffee shop and yes. Top Notch. And they are portioned out according to how many tickets you bought. So if you bought five, you'll get five tickets to the coffee shop and Top Notch. If you have 45, you'll get 45 tokens each. The blue ones are the coffee shop. The wooden ones are Top Notch tokens. Yep, so they don't need money for that. They can come in, they're gonna get a free coffee drink and a free meal in Top Notch. Now, mm -hmm. the trick also to that is, is please help us with some of these guidelines that we have in place for the students that come each week, but also for your students. And that is once they get a drink, or a food that stays in the, the area in which they purchased it. So if they get something in the coffee shop, stay in the coffee shop. If they get something in Top Notch, then stay in Top Notch. The Top Notch does have like a, a patio that overlooks the main room that actually kind of comes into it. That's okay, um, but that'll make sense when you see it if you don't know what we're talking about. But food stays in the appropriate food area and not into any of the field. Or if you get something outside, because we do have, if weather permits, mm -hmm. we are gonna have an outdoor element, which there'll be s'mores and popcorn. Yes, and along with that, make sure if your students are bringing any outside food or drink with them here, that that also stays in the van. Even water bottles, we just ask that if you didn't get it here, to keep it out of here, just to eliminate any confusion between our volunteers, our students, or anyone else that may be in the building. Yeah, and you can kind of give your students a pointer for us even before you get here. Our one word at Ground Zero for the students that come each week is respect. Respect each other, the venue, and the leaders, listening to the leaders. And that's going to be a big deal come snowball fight time because there's going to be a lot of things going on that we want your students to enjoy. Uh, when it comes to the snowball fight, though, how can they participate in the snowball fight? So I am trying to put together teams based on youth groups. So if you have a youth group that has 40 students signed up for it. I'm trying to put those teams ahead of time. Um, but if you don't hear from me, when you walk into the coffee shop, there's gonna be a table as soon as you get in there to sign up for snowball teams. We have, I wanna say, 18 teams this oh, wow. year. So we have more than enough space. We wanna make sure we have enough space for your groups and your students as well as ours. Um, so make sure you sign up if you have not heard from me um, by the time you get here. There, and then we'll get wristbands. So the wristbands will have a very specific color or pattern that will be shown on the big screen when it's your turn to play. Um, and we'll be calling that throughout the night. We're gonna have volunteers that will be checking the upcoming wristbands to make sure people are paying attention. And when your team does get called, you're going to be directed to either stage red, 
or stage green. And that's the side that you'll be playing on. So you'll be going up through the inflatables onto your side. There's gonna be big buckets at each station. And that is where your students are gonna be putting phones, watches, earbuds, headphones, sweatshirts, shoes if they don't wanna wear shoes because it does get messy. Um, basically anything they don't wanna lose, bracelets, rings and necklaces, those get lost a lot. If they wanna make sure it's not lost, it needs to be put in those buckets. Our volunteers are gonna be next to those buckets the whole time, um, but that's just, because if it gets lost in there, chances are you're not gonna find it. That's about five to six inches of snow. Yeah, we've had AirPods lost in there. We've had rings, but we'll find stuff the next year that we were looking for before as we're taking all the snow back out. Yeah. So if you don't wanna lose it, take it off before the field. And if you've never been here, the snowball fight, here's how it works. When you're called based on your wristband, you're gonna have what, a minute and a half? Or a minute? Yeah, a minute and a half, I you're think. You're gonna have a minute and a half where uh, when everybody comes up, they're gonna go over the instructions with a field judge uh, and they will talk about those things, uh, tell them what to do before they start the fight. Then they'll have about a minute and a half, which there'll be a clock that'll go down on the video wall. They'll play for a minute and a half, then they'll have another break and then they switch sides mm -hmm. and they'll have another minute and a half. Once they finish that, they'll go back to their side, get their stuff and get off. But that's it. Yes. All right. There's no scoring. There's no tournament element. It's just that they get on the field and that's it. That's, they're not going to be able to be it's on the snowball fun. field all night long. Yeah. So it's very important that they go in their time spot because if they miss it, they potentially might miss it. We have to run a lot of people through all, of, all the different elements. Yeah. Um, we also have a 360 photo booth this year. Yes. That's new. Um, we're going to be doing karaoke and top notch. And there's just going to be different games going on all throughout the night. So if it's not your turn to be on the snowball field, you're going to have more than enough activities to be doing oh, yeah. during that time. And again, the outside, we've got a big inflatable movie screen. Not sure what movie we're playing yet or has yeah. that been decided? Um, we've talked about it, but no decisions have okay. been made. And three three-ish fire pits, uh, s'mores, um, popcorn. popcorn. So th that's all gonna be outside. So there are gonna be a lot of things going on. It's gonna be real fun uh, for those who come. It's still 6.30 to yep. 8.30. If you get here before 6.30, you can get in line, but, but doors don't anymore. open until 6.30. Yeah. So, so we're very excited. We look forward to this every year. And just to give you a heads up for some of you that may have been to this, most of our impact events is what we call something like this, does have a, a, a speaker or a gospel presentation. This one will not because of the sides of it. Tonight, I mean, this night is all about just having fun and relationships. So hang out, get to do something fun with your students, go out there and have a snowball fight with them, sit and play Jenga with them. So tonight, the ministry or the snowball fight night is the, really the ministry of relationship. Mm -hmm. Spend some time getting to know your students. Um, and uh, we look forward to just hanging out with you guys for two hours. Yeah, so we will see you Wednesday. Thank you guys. We look forward to seeing you.